The province of Bulacan, known for its vital role in Philippine history and its rich heritage in culture and the arts. Its historical sites, nostalgic old houses and churches, idyllic ecological destinations, religious attractions, colorful festivals, elegant native crafts, sumptuous delicacies. Bulacan has grown to be one of the most developed commercial and industrial centers in the country. Now ready to write a new page in its history. Why invest in Bulacan? Highly skilled human resources, a profusion of raw materials, a treasure trove of natural resources, a strong leadership and bureaucracy, vital elements that spell the difference in making Bulacan a viable and significant player in an increasingly integrated and connected world. Bulacan is harnessing its considerable assets to carve a niche for itself and make its products competitive in the world market. Infrastructure facilities make investing in Bulacan a wise move. The province has kept at pace with the rapid technological advancement in communication, keeping businesses in touch with key partners and customers, and making delivery of services effective and efficient. Accessibility All roads from the north lead to Bulacan. Its proximity to Metro Manila offers a built-in advantage in terms of easy access to cheaper inputs and ready market for its relatively fresh products. The North's Gateway to Metro Manila Bulacan is the ideal food storehouse where goods can be transported, collected, processed, or sold. The province hosts masterfully planned industrial estates providing a convenience hub for small and medium industries. Bulacan is within easy reach to the main transportation knobs in Luzon, three major seaports, and three international airports, making the province one of the most strategically accessible locations in the country. The next few years will see the establishment of a 2,500-hectare air metropolis in the coastal town of Bulacan, Bulacan, with an initial capacity to serve 100 million tourists a year. This will bring about the benefits of comfort in travel and better mobility of goods and services. Resources and Industries Blessed with a total land area of 2,796.1 square kilometer, with 11,141 hectares are used as fish farms. 94,510 hectares are forests. 136,521 hectares are planted with variety of crops. Bulacan produces more than 360,000 empty of palay, more than 600 empty of coffee, and more than 100,000 metric tons of other crops. Bulacan produces almost 60% of the volume of hog production in central Luzon. In a province blessed with a vast network of rivers and their tributaries and its long coastline towards Manila Bay, it is not surprising that its aquaculture resource provide yet another potential area for establishing a competitive edge for Bulacan. Harnessing the waters of the Angat River has also made Bulacan a major supplier of power to the Central Luzon and Metro Manila Grid. The People Our richest resources are the Bulacanos themselves. Well educated, the province registers one of the highest literacy rates in the country. Bulacanos are naturally hardworking and are known for their ingenious craftsmanship. Home to 3.2 million people, coupled by a high employment rate and the purchasing power that goes with it, makes Bulacan an extensive market for local investors. A high degree of entrepreneurial tradition exists among Bulacanos. Bulacan is home to more than 47,000 micro, small and medium enterprises. 
engaged in agriculture, aquaculture, agri and food processing, garments, furniture, handicrafts, jewelry, leather goods, and fireworks including retail trade and services. Governance The provincial government has enshrined its commitment to becoming an investment hub by implementing investor-friendly policies. Investment incentives and enabling ordinances have been adopted by the different local governments in the province to promote an environment conducive to the growth of business. Ongoing Future Projects Bulacan has emerged at the forefront of the country's move toward globalization. Bulacan Bulk Water System, a 17 billion peso project, aims to attain universal access to potable water in the province of Bulacan. Angat Dam and Dike Strengthening Project and Angat River Downstream Improvement Project that would increase the discharge capacity of the Angat River. Modernization of Flood Monitoring and Management System of Bulacan is now on its way to completion. Plaridel Bypass Road, a stall road project that links the Enlex in Balagdas, Bulacan with the Philippine-Japan Friendship Highway. The North-South Commuter Railway Project will begin construction by the first or second quarter of 2019. The Manila-Bataan Coastal Highway, a comprehensive infrastructure solution to protect the coastal towns of Manila Bay from high tide and storm surge. The North Luzon East Expressway alignment will serve as alternative route going to San Miguel. We offer an irresistible investment proposition. Partner with us towards progress. Together, let us make the blueprint for development a reality. Choose Bulacan. Invest Bulacan. National Airport will rise in Bulacan, just north of Metro Manila. It is envisioned to solve air traffic congestion, which has limited the growth and progress of the Philippines. It will be world-class, a future-ready international gateway. With four runways, a state-of-the-art terminal, an express train, and a wide infrastructure network, it will ensure passenger convenience and a seamless travel experience. Three of the world's top engineering firms have been tapped to ensure its sustainable master planning. MindHeart Group, Group ADP, and Jacobs Engineering. They are behind some of the world's most renowned airports, including Singapore's Changi Airport. The Manila International Airport will be the ultimate symbol of a modern and dynamic Philippines. It will raise the country's profile as an investment and tourist spot. The Aerotropolis itself will provide travelers speed and connectivity for business. Because of its high efficiency, it will make air travel more affordable. It will be built at no cost to the government, with no guarantees or subsidies. More importantly, by locating the country's major gateway outside the city, Metro Manila traffic 
will improve. The Manila International Airport will be a catalyst of growth, development for the Philippines, bringing with it 35 million tourists, more than a million jobs, more vibrant local industries, higher exports, more foreign investments, and a better quality of life. It will be built sustainably, taking into consideration its social and environmental impacts. The Manila International Airport, securing sustainable growth for generations to come. Bulacan earned the title MSC Province of Central Luzon as it accounts for around 26% of the total business name registered enterprises in Region 3. And because of the outstanding performance of the MSEs in Bulacan, they have penetrated the international market. Through the exemplary assistance of the Provincial Cooperative and Enterprise Development Office, which evolved from merely Cooperative Development Center to Entrepreneurial Cooperative Development Office, is in charge of implementing development programs for cooperatives and enterprises. The following are the most significant accomplishments of the E2E Plus program from MSCs in the past three years to support the increase of income of MSCs and generate employment. Bulacan Tall Packaging Service and Tall Packing Center Established in 2006, BTPS TPC is the first and the only LGU-owned tall packaging center in the region and throughout the country that has rendered 441 tall packing and product packaging services to 292 MSEs or an average of 97 MSEs per year. Nagsimula tayo sa negosyo noong May 2011. Uh, actually, as ano lang yan, as livelihood program natin sa Bulacan Provincial Jail. Eh, noong time na yun, nagsusupply tayo ng pagkain sa Bulacan Provincial Jail. So, naisip ko na itong mga preso na to, po pwede ko silang gamitin na manpower para magawa ko yung gusto kong produkto. So, ginawa ko siya as livelihood program sa Pisedo, sinesend nila sa atin kung ano yung mga seminars na binibigay na applicable para sa ating kumpanya, gaya ng mga sa barcoding, sa labeling. Actually, ang label natin talaga nag-start sa ano eh, sa Kapitolyo. Sila talaga ang nagbigay sa akin ng assistance uh, kung paano. Actually, sa kanila to, ang original na label natin, sila ang gumawa talaga. So, when I'm starting, uh, there are lots of seminars introduced by Pesedo, so I need to attend because I want to know something about how we can improve, how we can start, how they can help. So, marami ding na itulong ang Pesedo. Aside from the seminars, there's also a financial uh, help that uh, pahihiramin ka, after six months pa ang bayad, less lang naman ang interest. So, nakakabayad naman ako, kaya pa ulit-ulit ang pag-utang ko. <laughs> so, yun. And one more, malaki na itulong ng Pisedo. There yung packaging nila. So, I have no idea how can I put it in a beautiful uh, packaging. And uh, the people in the packaging uh, office, eh, talaga naman matulungin sila at uh, sinusuportahan yung mga bago na isisimula. Isa pang naitulong sa amin ng Pisedo, uh, natulungan nila kami na makakuha na LTO sa FDA sa regional office at talagang tutukoy yung mga taungan ng Pisedo to help us. Talagang bigay, talagang bigay yung katawan nila, servisyo nila para matulungan kami without anything na, na magigain or ma, maibibigay namin. 
marketing and promotion of the Takbulakenyo products was strengthened through trade fairs and Bulacan Pasalubang Center that showcases food and non-food items. 33 trade fairs were conducted benefiting 893 MSCs or an average of 298 MSCs per year with total sales of 19,331,059.50. Two hundred eighty-five products of eighty cooperatives and MSEs showcased and sold with total sales of eight million two hundred fifty thousand eight hundred seventy-five point ninety. Start si Co-op way back September 8, 2002. Yun, natatag ang Co-op ni Bagong Barrio. Ang Pisedo po, napakalaking tulong sa Bagong Barrio Multipurpose Cooperative, lalo na nung nagkaroon ng MOA between the Pisedo and the Bagong Barrio Multipurpose Cooperative, kung saan yung mga finished product ng mga members namin na i-display namin sa Pasalubong Center. Indirectly, dahil dumami yung market noong mga member namin na nasa Pisedo yung product nila, si Co-op, dumami din yung kanila, dumami din yung aming sale when it comes to our materials na siya namin bread and butter ni Cooperative. Kasi nga po, ang Cooperative ang nagbebenta ng textile materials kay member. So, the more na marami ang demand kay member, dahil marami nga po ang nag-o-order dahil nasa Pasalubong Center, dumadami din po yung sales ni Coop na siyang nagpapalaki, pakita ni Coop. Bagong Barrio now has their Bayad Center service, satellite office, and Coop Mart. Another strategy of Pesedo to promote Bulacan products and establishments in domestic and international market is the use of tri-media. 3,218 management technical assistants were provided to upgrade the management capabilities of 1,162 beneficiaries or an average of 387 beneficiaries per year. Two million financial assistance was released to assist the 25 MSCs to expand their business. One Town, One Product, Ata Philippines Hub, your one-stop shop in buying the distinct products. DTI and LGUs with private partners and associations, cooperatives, embark in transforming Pasalubong centers and souvenir shops all over the country and serves as an incubation store for products before offering to the niche market catered to by Go Local, a Filipino concept store. Philippines Bulacan is the first retail store all over the country. It is under the management of the Provincial Cooperative and Development Office. Discover the best Autoc products of the Philippines. Come and visit at autoc.ph hub in Bulacan. The store is open from Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and is located at Pisedo Building, Tatak Bulacanio, Pasalubong Center, Provincial Capital Compound, City of Malolos, Bulacan. For inquiries, you may contact at 044-813-8877-791-2283 up to 0113. Email at ro3.bulacan at dti.gov.ph and pisedo at bulacan.gov.ph www.autop.com.ph and www.dti.gov.ph slash autop. Auto Philippines Hub, bringing out Filipino ingenuity and craftsmanship while promoting entrepreneurship and products that are distinctly Filipino. Go local, by Tatak Bulakenyo.